basically my cousin Mamie Catlin, who is the founder of Camp Street Ministries, began to see a need. And she saw this need through the children. They would come and she began feeding them like peanut butter and jelly. And my uncle, who owned the barber shop across the street at one time, they would share in the course. He may buy the milk and she may buy the cereal. And they began to feed the kids in the community. And to the kids, they would tell them stories about what was going on in their homes and all these different things. And, and that's what got her. I guess her wheels were turning, like, you know, how can I help or what can I do? So they started getting Dale bread, and they started with a bread line, and that led to a relationship with the food bank. So it all, you know, developed into what it is t today. Camp Street is in my heart. <laughs> I've tried to leave. I said, I'm tired. I want to take time. But I look forward to coming. Like I said, the girls that we have, you know, they're, they're all sweet. People come in to get clothing and things, and they ask what we do, and we tell them and say, you know, do you need help? And we tell them, sure. So what we do is we sit down with them, we fill out an application, and I take them on a tour, show them what, you know, the building and the food pantry, because we never know where they're gonna be working at, and show them who, and introduce them to everybody. When I walk into Camp Street, I feel very blessed because I really don't have, I don't use these services and I, you know, I'm very thankful for that. But I'm also happy that I can help somebody who is in need. It just means that you're helping somebody and it's good that you're able to give your time. I mean, I live all the way in Rehoboth and come all the way down here. And my husband loves coming to pick up, he drives the truck to pick up the breads and everything. We just like it knowing that we're helping other people. So a lot of times we have sandwiches and sometimes even salads and different things from the different markets that we pick up at and um, they can get that and like this time of year we get a lot of vegetables donated produce and they can get that also. Well we have the uh, recently we started receiving meat from Stop and Shop and we give that out and I think that's a big help because a lot of people you know to be honest they can't afford things like that and it's, it's like a luxury now the way the economy is. Our resource room is set up so that people can come in. They, we have a Mavis Bacon put on the computers that teach you how to type, you know, and everything so they can come in and use that. We have people come in for job search. Some come in just to get on the internet to play a game or to relieve, you know, stress and things. Um, we have books for the children and for the adults and things. And it's there to offer a need if possible to help anybody that needs it. My language is Spanish. I'm from Puerto Rico. And uh, I love the way that they work in here. They help a lot of people and uh, always busy. And uh, a lot of people come and donate clothes. And it's, it's wonderful what they're doing in here. And when they treat you, they treat you like a family. It's nothing that you have to bring a lot of things to, so they can be able to get whatever you need and they help you not even with the clothes or the food even some if you have a problem or something they'll be able to talk to them and they'll be able to help you there's a, a great great place to come I really enjoy being here I love the people uh, they, they're a very good group of people and, and there's never any anger or any, you know, angry words or any swearing or anything like that around here. It's just a, it's strictly a nice place with good people and we all get along and the need is very much here. When I come in in the morning, I check with the food bank on the internet to see what they have so we can order. That's on Tuesdays. And we have to order, to get a delivery, we have to order 750 pounds of groceries. 
And if they have produce, we'll ask for produce and they'll send us that produce. Then we check our client list to see how many people showed up. So we have to keep a record for statistics. How many of the families come, how many individuals come. And we, we check that out. And then um, we get ready for Friday based on the amount of people that came the following week. Miss Mary and Jeanette both coming on Tuesday and a Friday. And on those days, they make sure the shelves are stacked and everything's ready to go. So by the time the, um, the coordinator comes in on Saturday, everything is all set up for them. You know, and that's basically because of the job that Miss Mary and Jeanette is doing those two days that they come in.